Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is your Wednesday one shot. This is part two of Chaos in Thirds. This one doesn't follow directly on from where I left it off in the first part, but it's a little snippet of what it would be like doing a shopping outing with your two boyfriends. So here it is. Enjoy. A week or so later, you decided you wanted to go out. Going to the shops was fairly easy because you didn't stand out much. All you had to do was wear a hoodie and that was good enough for disguise for you. That morning, Darby saw you getting dressed up a little more than usual and his curiosity peaked. Where do you think you're going? He asked, slamming his hand into the wall to stop you from walking past him once you'd gotten dressed and put your hoodie on. I'm going out, you shot back, stepping back and doing a high kick to dislodge his arm that was barring your way. You made contact with his arm and kicked it out of the way, then went to walk past, but he grabbed you from behind one hand roughly around your waist and the other hand cupped over the front of your neck to stop you in your path. You're my girl. You don't go anywhere without me beside you, he rasped in your ear. Just then, Tamura entered the room and you looked up at him. Get off her, he growled to Darby. Sorry, I don't speak idiot. What did you say? Darby asked him calmly, his turquoise eyes staring Shigaraki down. Ugh. Stop! I'm going on my own, so I don't have to deal with you two fighting, you announced. Where are you going? Tomura asked. Shopping, okay? I just want some me time, you said in a defiant voice. I'm coming with you, Tomura said, taking your hand to pull you out of Darby's embrace. Did you not hear me? I said I'm going on my own, you said, feeling Darby tense to hold your body against himself. Yeah, Dustball Derby. She said no to you, Darby quipped from behind you. I said no to both of you, you said, your body being crushed by the opposing forces of Darby holding on to you and Shigaraki trying to pull you free from him. As they both, both got more and more determined to have you, you decided to fight back, first kicking Darby in the balls so he'd let you go before yanking your arm free from Shigaraki's grip. God, you snapped at the two of them once you'd freed yourself from their holds. Stop it! Go away, I don't want either of you with me. Are you breaking up with us? Darby asked. No, why do you have to be so dramatic? I'm just going shopping on my own. Then we're coming with you, Tamura said again. I can't let you go on your own. It's my job to protect you. Yeah, what he said, Darby said, pointing to Tamura. You scowled at the two of them, but then conceded. Okay, fine, you can both come, but you flank me like guards and you don't talk to me. You don't fight between yourselves. You don't get in my way. Understand? They both nodded and you grumpily adjusted your outfit, then turned to go. Come, you commanded, walking for the door with both boys behind you on either side. But bring something to disguise yourself with. I don't want people to recognise you. You paused a second as both boys hurriedly grabbed for hoodies, then you were out the door and on your way to do some shopping. Even though Tamura and Darby had put on hoodies to disguise themselves and not draw too much attention to themselves, they still stood out like sore thumbs and you felt like you had two scary Doberman dogs accompanying you. People were giving you a very wide berth as you walked into the shopping centre, and you glanced back at each boy in turn to make sure they weren't making scary faces. Darby smirked at you from under his hood, and Tamura had removed farther from his face and had his eyes locked onto you. Act chill, you whispered harshly back to them. I'll act anything for you, Darby uttered lowly in a flirty tone, and you shot him a semi-scowl. Shh, you hushed him. You walked into one shop and looked around, idly pulling clothes out to check them over. I'd like to see you in nothing, Darby uttered just under his breath. You ignored his comment, hoping he would just be quiet, but Tamura had had enough of his fellow boyfriend and hissed an aggressive reply to the turquoise-eyed heartthrob. You'd better stop before I make you into a physical presentation of your name, cremation, Tamura seethed. Did someone say something? Sounded like incoherent baby talk, Darby said, quite loudly, making a shot at Shigaraki. Tamura shot an arm out to grab Darby, but your boyfriend number one dodged your other boyfriend's attack and it was on. Guys, guys, you hissed, looking around to make sure they hadn't drawn attention to themselves, but unfortunately they had, and half of the shop had stopped to watch the two hooded figures fight between the clothing racks. Filled with rage at your two boyfriends, you grabbed for the closest clothing rack and, with unbridled anger, picked it up and threw it at them, knocking them both over sideways. Get up, you demanded of the two, grabbing both by the top of their hoodies and dragging them to their feet. 
Because you were shorter than they were, they had to bend over because you still had a death grip on their heads and you marched them out to the front of the shop. Get on your knees, you commanded authoritatively, and they both slowly got down on their knees in front of you with heads bowed. Seeing a random stand of pool noodles nearby, you grabbed one and used it to whack each boy over the head to show them that you were most unhappy with their antics and then decided to verbally blast them as well. What did I say about fighting, hmm? Answer me, you demanded, tucking the pool noodle under your arm. Dust mop here stuck. Did I ask who started it, Darby? You shot angrily. No, I didn't. Now both of you get up and go home, now. I want to. Tomorrow, I said go. Now go before I hit you again, you said strictly. Sullenly, both boys got up and left the scene with a generous amount of people still watching on. With heavy embarrassment, you placed the pool noodle back in the hold and went back to the shop in a huff, intending to browse in peace and quiet, but a younger girl approached you and tapped you on the shoulder. That was amazing, she said. Are they your brothers? I wish I could do the same to my brothers. They're so annoying. No, actually, they're my boyfriends, he replied embarrassedly. They're both your boyfriends? She asked in awe. Yep. You turned and placed your hand on her shoulders. But promise me that you will never have two boyfriends at one time. It's a train wreck. Better yet, just get a girlfriend. It would probably be so much less trouble. Uh, okay, she replied dubiously, stepping back to get away from you, as if she thought you'd gone insane. On the walk home, the two guys were silent, each thinking about how they kind of liked that you'd put on a bit of a dominant display. I'm going to pin her down when we get home, Darby suddenly announced. I'll keep her head still, Tamara added with a smirk. Good, Darby replied with an equally devious smirk. And there ends that one shot. But man, it would be utter chaos to be dating those two at the same time. Anyway, stay tuned for next week's one shot, part two of Stuck Together. See you then.